Hello guys, uh, maybe you already watched some video uh, about uh, making a flower in ZBrush, but on this one I will show you how to do it in less than 5 minutes pretty much. Uh, so here I made a rose and uh, as you can see on this video, from this step to this step, it's about uh, 3 minutes, so pretty fast. Oh, I know this one is not the best one uh, compared to this one, but it's pretty much the same. And I did also make um, a pine cone, like this one, with pretty much the same techniques, uh, but I will show you on this one. So I just start by making uh, a Peter shape, and uh, when I was happy with it, oh, let's, let me see. Okay, this is my, my Peter at the beginning, and then I use the array mesh method to. Um, to make some copy of it and just adjust the value to get this result at the end. So let's start from scratch. Just load a sphere here, could be something else, but let's do it with a sphere. I will make my uh, Peter shape. So with a basic uh, brush and everything. So um, oh, I need to make poly mesh and then, all right. Just make the shape of the Peter. We will be able to change the shape uh, later, so do not worry too much. All right, and maybe break the symmetry a little bit. Okay. Then I will use the array mesh uh, method here, but I will just show what I need. So if you don't know how it works, so the error mesh, you should, work, or you should watch some other video on the internet. So just uh, enable the error mesh. I will use uh, something like 35 copy and um, make a rotation of it. So if you watch it from the top view, uh, you can use the Y amount here to make some rotation. But for my purpose here, I need to activate um, the little circle here, the little dot. So for now, it's uh, an empty dot, but if, if you click on it, it will be full. And it's more exponential, and it's better for my, uh, my purpose here. So let's try something like uh, 2005. No, it's not that best. Yeah, something like that. Then I will change the scale of my, uh, my uh, copy with the same thing with a full dot here. So 0 0.1 on X and Z and maybe 0 0.5 on Y. And then I need to make an offset uh, of the position, but uh, usually you should use a pivot point here, but because I use a, a full dot, I can't use it. So if I try to make something, nothing happened here. So my tip to do it is just to um, uh, turn off the array mesh, show your picture here, and then with the, um, the Z modeler brush, I will just extract a face from my uh, my picture with the Q mesh method. So if you use the Q mesh poly and then press Control, you would just make a copy of the face, and this face will. Um, will be used to make the offset. So I just mask uh, everything except this face, bring back the array mesh, and then if I use uh, my uh, gizmo, I can move my face and it will make vi this um, offset effect. Perfect. I will invert my mask and then I will, oh, sorry, I will just make a rotation that way. Okay. Then I will uh, add a, an offset amount of, um, on the Y axis. That way, um, each layers will be higher than the previous one. So something like that, maybe less. I don't know exactly, maybe something like that. All right, uh, let's try something. 
Okay. I want my Peter to be closer to, to each other when I'm um, going on the center of the, of the flower. So to do it, I will need to make a rotation of my Peter because for no, it can't work on two axes. So I will just uh, clear my mask and then make a rotation about uh, 90 degrees that way. All right. Then on the rotate uh, option here, I will use Z amount with a full dot and change the value. As you can see right now, I'm just closing the floor. Nice. I can modify also the, um, the, uh, the curve of this uh, Z amount just here. And let's say it starts uh, pretty slowly and then it's right to uh, accelerate. All right, we change the value of my uh, Y amount here. I want something like, okay, uh, so not that good. Okay, maybe something like that. And I will change the shape of my uh, first Peter with my move brush. Try something like that. Yeah, not that bad. I can also change um, the curve on the scale the same way. So at the beginning, he won't uh, modify the scale that much, and then he will modify it more. When my curve is ready, I can copy, copy it and go to the Z curve and paste it. All right. Okay, activate the perspective. And here we go. That's Pretty good, I can maybe go smaller. Like, let's see, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, and maybe 0 0.3, something like that. Okay, and just adjust the value if you need to. Maybe make a little rotation on my uh, first Peter, all right. I don't know exactly what I need, but just make some, some try. Yeah. And here we go. That's pretty cool. And basically I did the same thing on the, where is it? Uh, come on. On this uh, pineapple, uh, pine cone, sorry. Uh, not exactly the same because this one um, is more regular. So uh, I don't use the full dot, I just use the empty dot. Of course, when you did finish that, uh, you can convert your remesh to, um, to a mesh. So I can do it here in a two step for this one. And then you can, of course, modify it. Uh, let me see which, which axis, okay. This one, okay. maybe to make something rounder and uh, I see. Same thing with my uh, my floor here. You know I have my little plane, but since this plane has not uh, have not the same um, has not the same polygroups, I can just uh, so convert my mesh to a mesh, and then isolate all the Peter and delete them. Here we go. And you can still modify it and get a better um, result, like this one. Even if I on this one, I just spend like five minutes maybe, and that worked perfectly well. So for every um, asset that uh, refer to something in real life, like the leaf um, or stuff like that, maybe uh, if you want to do uh, some snow, uh, you can use your image. That's pretty good, and that's. Uh, procedural so that's pretty uh, yeah pretty fine hope you enjoy it see you next time